This rock has got bits of Chrysler lights on it, Chrysler tile. And when you move your finger in one direction, it's quite smooth. Or when you move it in the other direction, it's quite um, rough. Um, this is because of the orientation of the fibres. Um, this shows the direction of the shearing fault. And once the stress um, keeps going in one direction, the fibres tend to follow the other direction as well. Okay, this is another example of bastite serpentinite at Kynance Cove. Um, in this one, you can see the bastites are uh, roughly sort of um, hexagonal shaped minerals. Um, in this example, they've been sheared, so they're producing a foliation running in that direction. Is it smooth? It's smooth in one direction and then it's uh -huh. rough in the other, which means that it formed in a, in a fault and the crystals okay. grew in the direction of the fault. So the mm -hmm. smooth direction is the direction of the fault. Mm -hmm. so, okay. It's fibrous. Yeah, fibrous. It's almost like a soapy field. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a soapy field. Mm -hmm. And it's also made of asbestos. Yeah, it's an mica. So what kind of a rock would you call that? No, no, no. A granite. What's the grain size? It's fine grained, so either you could call it an apolite or a micro granite. Okay, so this is uh, bastite serpentinite. Uh, these vitreous bits, but it's more pearly, the uh, luster. They're the bastites. Um, and then you can also see differential weathering in the sample. So uh, sort of around here. So what minerals can you see in this rock? Uh, well I can see um, quartz, um, feldspar, um, there's a bit of a pinky one which could be orthoclase feldspar. Um, there's little black minerals which could be tourmaline. Why do you think they're tourmaline? Well if you look through it with a hand lens the, it's quite needly. It's all the same size apart from the tourmaline which is quite a small. It's a bluey yellowy green colour and um, it's not fibrous um, and it's got a massive texture um, and it's antigorite which is a serpentine mineral. Okay, uh, this piece of serpentinite, uh, it's got antigorite which is more apple green. Uh -huh. uh, it's also got um, chrysotile and it's got a soapy texture uh -huh. um, and it's, it's also got this sort of stepped texture. Uh -huh. And by looking at that, you can tell the uh, relative sense of movement of the shearing of the two blocks. White vein feels quite soft, not calcite or quartz. It could possibly be magnesite or talc. So if I put some acid on it to see if it effervesces, and it effervesces very nicely, I think that's probably magnesite, which is a magnesium carbonate. It's going to be quite a bit quicker going across this year because there's sands coming. Which came first, the basalt or the gabbro? The basalt. So we've got a basalt dike which is cut by gabbro. The gabbro seems to be very highly sheared. <laughs> is it the serpentine basalt dike? Yeah, it's basalt serpentinite. There are small gabbro dikes. <laughs> the basalt dike in gabbro. It's gabbro. <laughs> you can see some whitey, yellowy bell spars. Yeah. You can see some other larger things. There are actually some bastites in there as well. Remember, bastites are altered pyroxenes. Tremolite pentonite. It's very dark, it's very homogeneous, quite ready to dark brown. And this is supposed to be an altered dunite. 